hello, hello, hello. Happy Thursday to you. Now, normally I'd be out and about car booting today, probably over at Strawberry Field, but as you can probably see behind me, it's looking a bit bleak. I wasn't very confident about uh, getting over there today, which I suppose in a way that makes me sound like I'm wimping out. <laughs> but I do have a plan as it's often a good idea to have and I've been neglecting my uh, charity shop ladies lately so uh, that's the plan for today I'm going to take you along for a charity shop run now it's been a while so I should get some good results let's go and check it out important pit stop to make first because just up the road from where I live is a petrol station with a coffee machine that makes the most amazing coffee. <laughs> Does anybody else feel like they're gonna rob the place when they're wearing these things still? So today we're gonna to head out to Koppel, Standish, Wigan and if this time probably hit the Chorley Town Centre later. Now quite often the case with Chorley Town Centre shops uh, they're quite expensive. I know obviously that those particular shops have higher rents to pay and, and so on so that's probably the reason why but it doesn't mean to say that Town Centre shops should be avoided. I've still got absolutely huge scores from these so-called expensive shops. Of course everything's relative. So like with most things in the reselling game, you can't really prejudge. I think even if the weather was nice today, I probably would have considered staying locally anyway. Although this run that I'm doing at the minute, I've done a number of times and all the stuff in the shops know me pretty well. I always like to think that it's as well to, to keep your fresh your face to keep your face fresh in the mind. It just keeps that relationship sweet, which is never a bad thing. Incidentally, if there's any copyright music in the shops, I will put my own audio over the top. Don't want to be getting in trouble now, do we? <laughs> Hiya Flory, you alright? Morning, you okay? Not too bad. One of, me too. One of me charity shop ladies were having a breakfast and she didn't want filming. <laughs> Fair enough. We can but accommodate. I'm looking for these. Have them on there. Oh, yeah. Good. Hey, buddy. That far there, please. Because um, about three things with that price is on. Do you want a bag? Uh, I've got one at three. Cheers, thank you. Smash in, cheers. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Right, yeah, if you, if you can get to anything, yeah. <laughs> yeah. if you can take one thing off a rail without yeah. pain falling off. Yeah, yeah.
on it. Bought my nine to five, cause it be stressing me. But the Lord keep on blessing me. They say it costs to be a boss. I just had to figure out the recipe. See, I got the giddy up. Before they be top, I don't do enough. I had to put my shit to action. They rap and sing and shit my passion. They gon' be lying, they be capping. Fight the ceiling on the drink. What a nigga. I'm pouring up the whole pint. Got good weed, it's on the pain away. And I got niggas gon' shoot like a fadeaway. It ain't no question how get away. Rich froze, yeah, bright as day. My girl trippin', ain't got time to play. See, it ain't nothing. The moral to that story is stop saying you're going to stop picking clothes up. Some cracking finds in there though. I normally do pretty well for shoes and trainers in that one. And it didn't disappoint this time. On to the next. Not often I'll get anything out of that age UK shopping weekend, but uh, every now and again it pulls off a bit of a blinder and I find something really tasty. <laughs> Not on this occasion though. That's me just about done. I'm pooped, so it's so overcast. Just sweating buckets. Not too shabby a trip out today, but to be fair, probably not the kind of result that I'd be getting from the car boot. Hey, I'm not grumbling though. Time to get all this stuff home now and go through it, see what we've got. Yeah, and we're back home. You'll notice in the background, I've got the fan going. <laughs> Is that, it has actually uh, cooled down a bit now. But I was right, it did start raining for all of about 30 seconds. So that's just adding to my FOMO of uh, not doing the car boot this morning. More fool me. But like I said, I've done better than I thought I had. I lost count of the number of charity shops that I went in, but it was a few. Total items I picked up was 35 and the total spent was 99 pound. It was good to catch up with some familiar faces as well. I do like seeing my ladies. <laughs> that's the usual script guys. Uh, same as I do with the car boot. I'll strap the GoPro to my head and take you through what I picked up and what I'm looking to list it for. Okay, first up, we've got, I've sold one of these before actually, and it was incomplete. So I was pretty confident in picking this up actually. I saw it in the um, drop-off bin outside the charity shop and I thought I'll be having some of that. Now I know what some of you are gonna say, particularly if you saw my uh, car boot video from the Fitzwilliam car boot from, must be getting on a month ago now, where I picked up a load of Lego and said never again. But actually this is probably an exception to that rule. I won't be touching loose Lego again. It's just a waste of time. Even I know a lot of people will say there's a decent money in it, you can sell it per kilo, but it's just the time and effort it takes to go through it. Drives me nuts and it's certainly not worth the time. But this set, it 
feels complete there's loads of bits in there uh, if it is complete then we're looking at 50 to 80 pound for this set this is the uh, mega blocks call of duty ghost tactical helicopter if it's incomplete like the last set I had it'll still go for 20 to 25 pound because a lot of people are in the same position this is one of the most collectible models for me that mega blocks do and a lot of people are missing bits so they will buy these sets to make up missing bits so for example purposes for this video i'm going to assume that it is incomplete and give it the low end of the range so the listing value i'm going to put on this is 20 pound i almost walked straight past this actually in i think the second or third charity shop went in this is a seiko uh, oxford concise thesaurus it's um, a spell checker type thing handy for scrabble buffs and the like the model number on this is the er 2500 now i even go so far as to say perhaps not this model but the seiko uh, concise thesaurus stick it on your bowl list because some of the more recent models go for crazy money absolute madness money i mean in, in some instances over a hundred pound this one for the pound i paid for it not quite up to that level but still a 25 pound listing now from the fitzwilliam car boot going back a couple of videos ago now uh, you saw me pick up a, a load of tapes into sort of like vintage looking trays the reason i'm confident in the listing value in this is because one of those tr empty trays sold this morning for 15 pound plus postage now i've only paid a tenner for both trays and all the tapes so i've already paid for all of that bundle so whatever i sell now is all gravy so i've got another tray to sell from that bundle and all the tapes i've put in bundles of eight it was all country and western music so very recent precedent for this type of item Item. this is a tray it's wood effect it's actually plastic it's looking like there's 12 tapes in each drawer or should i say it will hold 12 tapes in each drawer listing value i'm going to put on that is 15 pound very popular game to pick up this it's in really nice condition as well uh, risk listing value on risk 15 pound one i probably should have left alone actually because the the price on these uh, the monopoly fortnights and all the variations is really really tanked it's a bit of a pain in the chuff to check all the parts to that one as well it used to be getting a pretty consistent sort of like 12 to 15 pound but now i'm looking at eight pound listing without question the pickup of the day this is a marantz amplifier and it's the the model is a pm-40 for SE SE standing for special edition absolutely immaculate condition Marantz is a very well known name for high-end stereo equipment there's not very much competition for this at the moment there's uh, more sold than there is listed which is often a good sign particularly if the sales are quite recent the standard comps are around the 80 pound mark but because of the lack of competition I'm going to stick this on for 90 and underneath a slightly misleading box because it is a sound lab turntable but it's not the model that's on the box which is actually a good thing because this rather minty fresh looking sound lab g056a obviously it's record player time with the idea of just setting one up at home for myself and, and getting into vinyl just something really nice and tactile about it echoes of my youth as well but the turntable that's actually in this box is valued higher than the model that's on the box so listing value on that turntable 60 pound there was me saying that i wouldn't uh, pick up as much clothing <laughs> <laughs> ended up picking up a load of clothing again but you just can't walk past good quality stuff now i've sold a few ben sherman items just recently and this is quite a nice leather jacket clearly a good quality feel perhaps the wrong time of year for it at the minute because it's quite a heavy leather jacket it's sort of like it's lined more of an autumn winter jacket but the comps on them are quite high so the listing value i'm going to put on this jacket is 40 pound if i have to sit on it for a while then so be it size is medium i would have liked a large to extra large but 40 pound is a realistic listing value for that jacket this henry lloyd rugby sweatshirt was quite difficult to value actually the, i couldn't find any comps at all for this style or should i say for this exact top but there are comps of similar ones similar long sleeve sweaters nice and fresh no markings on it very very little sign of wear listing value i've put on that is 15 pound you'll recognize recognize this from uh, last week i think it was i picked up one up at strawberry field so exactly the same thing i said about that one because of recent precedent i've sold an identical lamp to that just recently 
albeit a black one and it had a square base but this the head of it was exactly the same so on and so forth so the listing value i've put on that is 30 pound some standard game pickups now we've got three articulate your life that's one that's come down quite a bit in value just recently another one that's tanked a lot of times games reach the peak of the popularity and sort of like trail off i think articulate is one of those games so articulate listing value i've put on that is 10 pound used to be getting pretty much consistent 15 to 18 but there you go such is life next one screwball scramble this is a modern version if you remember me saying that the older versions of screwball scramble sold very very well indeed uh, one of the original ones i've sold two just recently one in really nice condition one that was beat up to hell and even the beat up to hell one i've I think I've got 18 pound for and 25 for the decent condition one so screwball scramble older versions look out for those but even so the modern version listing value on that 12 pound another risk this is an older version that's the board on that is absolutely massive uh, these are more desirable than the more modern versions because the, the pieces on them are they're just better quality the, the, if you compare the pieces to that they're, they're a little bit more binary i suppose they're, they're not quite as fancy but the new pieces and the new wrists are just really they're just crap quality so the risk big board version 15 pound listing on that now this wrangler jacket it's like a, a wax jacket i picked it up because obviously wrangler is a recognized brand it does look really pretty cool actually there's probably a bit more wear on it than i'd like on the sleeves and and that kind of thing but i suppose i was going to say that people like a bit of wear in this type of jacket but that's not true it's more if if, if they're going to be wearing wrangler and lee cooper and levi jackets then it's the denim ones that you could get away with it on a jacket like this probably not so much so i'm a, a bit of a loss on a listing on this on a listing value on this but what i'm thinking to play it safe i'm sure i'm sure the name will sell it i'm thinking of a listing value of 20 quid on that on the subject of lee cooper a very very nice condition suede jacket in large nice safe mid-range size there's a significant quality feel to this jacket and obviously again lee cooper recognized brand listing value on that 25 pound now i picked up a, a few t-shirts here but there's only one that i'm going to add to this list for today's i suppose demonstration listing value purposes and it's this large i think that might be a large for a woman actually because whichever way you cut it that's not a large i'm thinking this is a women's large and it's a nike dry fit obviously a running top proper lightweight bit of kit now i was quite surprised at the comps on these uh, so the listing value i put on this is 15 pound and which surprised me actually i was thinking more sort of like 10 at most but the comps support it so that's what it's getting listed for but the others i'm not add, i'm not adding to my list at all today because i picked them up because they're tidy looking so this nike t-shirt brand new size xl is always going to be worth listing i only picked it up because it was new though to be honest i wouldn't normally touch something like this but i do remember in a video i've seen reasonably recently a yellow brazil top going for a lot more money than the guy who was selling it for the manchester united top this is a size large and these three pretty cool walking dead t-shirts i think they're all the same size actually we've got a 3xl 2xl and then i don't know so not the same size <laughs> But I'm thinking perhaps make a bundle out of these. That's cool. And that one. All these t-shirts I probably will end up getting listed, uh, but relatively reasonably low value. So for the purposes of this video, I'm not going to include them in the total figure at the end. These Ugg boots I picked up from a shop I usually do really well for shoes in. They're brand new. There's it's sort of like a little bit of there's a couple of marks on them from storage but they're clearly unused a bit smaller than i would have liked a size four they may have been tried on but i can certainly list these as new without box listing value of on those is 30 pound again some potentially i could list as new without box these are timberland boots a wedge listing value on those 35 pound and the size is a size six love this guy <laughs> Gromit I don't think he's anything special but he's a and if he's got his tag he's in a an official plush obviously Gromit every time I pick stuff up like this I'm kind of thinking oh were my grandkids like that no no Dave sell me I want to go on eBay <laughs> This one's got a storage compartment in the back. I'm not actually sure what you would call uh, this type of plush, if there's a special name for it or anything like that, but um, listing value I've put on this, 15 pound. Three pairs of sketches. The first of them need a really good clean up actually. 
not sure if that'll come out. I think it's God only knows what it is. But they need a bit of a clean up. But sketches are always a safe bet. The grey pair are probably in the worst condition of the three pairs. But because of the model, I've put a listing value of £20 on those, uh, assuming they clean up well, of course. The second ones are uh, sketches Goga Max. These are brand new. The slipper ones seem to be quite popular as well. I might even have kept these. These are the Go Walk 4s. Might have kept these if they weren't for the fact that they're just a touch too big. Listing value on these, 20 to 25 pound. And a smaller pair, again, these are Goga matte sketches, size four. Listing value on those, 15 pound. Now these I thought I'd be worth more than they are actually, because they're a pretty cool looking trainer. Obviously Adidas. The model is a Swift Run, and the listing value I've put on those is 20 pound. Just as an aside, there's a couple of ways you can check if Adidas are, are actually genuine. On the label, you'll see it's got an art number Let's see if I can zoom in on that on the edit. So the ART number, this is uh, CQ2604. If you type that in Google, that'll give you a model. But a good way to check if uh, they're genuine, when you type that number in, obviously you're looking for trainers that look like that. Sometimes the art number relates to a few different models, um, perhaps different colors as well. But that's the first indicator that you're looking at a genuine pair, that, they actually, that Google actually pull up a picture of the trainers you got in your hand. And the second way you can tell if they're genuine, the bottom number is a serial number. Now, genuine Adidas trainers should have a different serial number on each shoe. So this one ending 027, and if you look in the other one, ending 286. Very often, fake Adidas will have an identical serial number in each shoe. So there's a couple of tips on how you can verify the Adidas are genuine. In some better copies, they might have covered those issues as well. But what I tend to find is the people who have made a lot of effort in faking trainers like that will only really fake the really expensive versions. So if you're just looking at sort of like standard models, then they're really good indicators of checking if they're fake or not. Next up, some very bright pink Adidas Galactic Elite is the model. Size five and a half. Listing value on those, £15. Three pairs of Converse. Now, I'm only actually going to list two pairs. First up, we've got the Tiger Print ones. These all need a really good, they might even just chuck them through the washing machine actually, because they re really need a good spruce up. The Tiger Print, UK size four. They'll be getting listed for £14. The denim ones on this end, UK size 7. Again, £14, assuming they clean up well because they are a bit minging. But the middle ones are not getting listed because I didn't notice one of the rivets is missing. It would devalue it enough that it's not worth listing them. So they'll probably just end up maybe getting redonated. So more rug boots now. I don't actually know how to describe these. I suppose a woven UGG boot. But the model is UGG 5819. Size five and a half. Listing value I've put on these is £30. There are comps higher than that, but I'm just feeling it's safer at £30. I think these will be a bit more challenging to list as long. I'll have to stuff them to uh, get some decent pictures of those. Last couple of items now, a couple of pairs of jeans. These are really nice looking Lee Coopers. Uh, women's skinny fit, a size eight. Listing value on those, £10. And last today, some Ralph Lauren jeans. These are a straight cut. They look more like a bloke's jeans to me, but um, in fact, they are bloke's jeans. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bloke's fasten up. Now this is strange. It's a bloke's fastening with a hole on the left and the label says 16, which kind of makes me a little bit suspicious whether these are genuine or not. Certainly warrants further investigation because I've only just noticed that I will actually keep it on the list. Listing value I've put on these is 20 pound, but obviously I will certainly do my research as to why bloke's jeans would have a women's size. If any of you guys know the answer to that particular particular conundrum, hit me up in the comments. I'd be interested to see if you think they're fake or not. Now, I think it's been about three weeks since I did that particular circuit of charity shops. And I always like chatting to the familiar faces uh, when I get out there. But it has to be said, it doesn't really quite have the enjoyment or the buzz that a car boot sale does. But the life of a full-time reseller is just not a glamorous one. <laughs> <laughs> You've got to go where the stock is and today, I mean, granted, I could have gone over to Strawberry Field this morning and probably, possibly, potentially got a better result. 
there's a lot of probabilities in that, isn't there? But to be honest with you, it was a mixture of kind of psyching myself out as far as the weather situation is concerned. As it transpired, I probably would have got away with it. And as I've said in previous videos, I don't like to prejudge. But I was very keen to get around the charity shops today. But I was also uh, keen to do a bit of variation with the content of this channel as well. So down to the nitty gritty, what are the totals? Like I say, total pickups today, 35. Total spend, 99 pound. And the total listing value of all these items is 672 pound. Now, as I always do, I'll qualify those uh, valuations where I've use the price range as with the, was the case with the mega blocks helicopter i use the bottom end of that price range all these items and the prices that i've mentioned are going to be plus postage but still all these valuations are gross valuations obviously still the uh, ebay fees have to come out of that and obviously put some money aside for the tax at the end of the year now i'm pretty confident that the majority of the stuff i've picked up today are relatively fast turnover fast flips as well now as you've seen me go around the shops today I'm sure there's going to be loads of items that you guys will have seen that I missed out on. This whole experience of running this channel is a learning experience for me as well. So if you have seen anything that I missed, hit me up in the comment section below this video and I'll make a mental note to look out for it next time I'm out and about. If reselling is your thing, if you've got any kind of value out of this video, if you could do me a big favor, guys, give it a thumbs up. It really helps the channel, helps us reach more people and spread the love. Likewise, I'm sure you guys already have because you're super savvy, intelligent, attractive, and all that good stuff. I'm sure you've already subscribed, but if you, have, if you haven't, smash that subscribe button and the notification bell will give you a notification of next time I post a video up. As always, your support for this channel is absolutely mind blowing. Thank you very much indeed, guys. I've been Dave Keith, you've been amazing. <laughs> I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.